Hi all, this video is meant as light entertainment. My mother and I are not canning experts, we're amateurs. Please do not attempt if you are immune compromised or pregnant or unsure in any way of how to can. Always consult a food preservation expert. With that said, let's start the video. Hi all, today I'm making homemade cherry jam and preserving it. The equipment you'll need, the ball canning and preservation book, a dry measuring cup, ball mason jars, a canning tool set, a mixing bowl, measuring spoons, a ladle, a spatula, a liquid measuring cup, a canning pot with jar rack, the ingredients you'll need, fresh or frozen cherries, fruit pectin, lemons, and sugar. Before we can even make jam, I need to prepare the jars that we put the jam in. So I'm just filling up um, the mason jars with water and putting it into the canning pan along with the jar rack. And you fill it up and we're gonna cover them completely with water. And then we're gonna put it on the stove. And we need to make sure that we get a rolling um, boil for 10 minutes. So I'm just going to put the lid on and when it comes to boil then I will count down 10 minutes. In the meantime I've got to wash off my hand wash off the lids and the screw tops because they're very fragile. Back in the day when my grandma used to use and even my mom when she was a young girl they were very durable. You could put them in hot boiling water but you can't do that these days. You got to wash them by hand. My mom has decided to help me. She's just crushing the cherries for me for the jam. Pretty good, Mom. Yeah. yeah, I'm so well known. You are, Mom. Did you turn on the light? Yes, Mom. The mason jars have been sterilized now for 10 minutes in boiling water that I covered them completely in. And I just dump the water out from inside and just leave them in the pan until we're ready to fill them with jam. And we're gonna get started on making jam. And now I'm just adding the fruit to the pan and with some pectin. I haven't added all the fruit yet. My mom was still crushing some. And um, so you'll see it gets fuller in a moment. You won't actually see me add it, but I did add another um, um, two cups of cherries. And now you can see there's more fruit. <laughs> and we're just gonna cook down the pectin with the lemon juice, which I just added uh, two tablespoons and it'll become very glossy, you'll see. This is about 20 minutes of cooking. It's really beautiful and has this really vibrant, gorgeous color. It's so glossy. And now I'm adding four cups of sugar. We follow the ball uh, recipe. Um, ball canning has a like a Bible of recipes, so to speak, you can get on Amazon. It's very convenient. Although I never add as much sugar as they say, I always hold back because I feel like I want the, the fruit to shine through. You know, this is all about having a little um, summer fruit in the winter, you know, the coldest months. And it's so delicious when you make your own jam. You can see how easy it is to make this. You don't even have to can it if you don't want. You can just put it in a jar and in the refrigerator and it will last for two to three weeks. Now this is a, the jam test where you put it on a plate and you run your finger through it. And obviously it wasn't moving, it's done. It's done, so I'm gonna remove it from the heat and put it on the table on a trivet. Mm -hmm. 
And now I'm going to start filling the jars. The jars have been prepared. They've been sterilized. Oh and um, the tops have also been cleansed um, of any particles in the sink. I had to do it hand wash. As I mentioned, they're very fragile. So I chose um, one pint jar and the rest are four ounce jars. And I thought this would just be easier, more convenient because we have them for breakfast. Um, and I, I made popovers the next day. So it was very good. I'm gonna say that. I'm no canning expert, but this was a lot of fun. And we're just gonna continue to fill up all the jars. And right now I'm using the tool to check the space between the top and the jam. You don't want any more than a half an inch from the jam to the top. But this is all in the canning book. And as always, I would always say, consult a canning expert. They have classes, I'm sure. Uh, Ball has them all over the US, uh, canning classes you can take online. And I believe in person still uh, for people to um, get involved in it. It's a lot of fun. and. Um, you know, especially if you have your own garden, you can preserve um, what you've grown and enjoy it throughout the year. And, you know, this year my mom and I plan on putting up um, pickled peaches because she she wants those. She had those as a child, as a child at every meal. So she wants to do that this year. And we're also going to do uh, strawberry jam and things like that. But we're very excited this year to get more into canning as we used to be. We made marmalade the next day, which I'm gonna show you, which was so much fun. Marmalade's even easier to make. Um, <laughs> and if you feel funny about preservation, again, take a class, consult an expert. My mom and I are not experts in any way. We're just amateurs who enjoy doing this kind of stuff. And just as we enjoy making quilts and sewing, you know, these are home things we like to do. And now I'm just finishing up. And I'm going to use my other tool, the other end of it, and I'm running around trying to break up any air bubbles. We don't want air bubbles in the jam before we um, do the final water bath to seal everything in. Now I'm gonna give them their final water bath, but first I gotta put the lids back on tightly and just making sure it's everything is secure before you you put them in the water bath because you're actually putting them <laughs> like in a bath underneath water at least an inch and right now i'm just putting them on the rack and i'll fill everything up and give them their water bath it's going to be a rolling boil for 10 minutes and completely cover them and when they come out we'll do one final test Putting the lid back on, and now it will boil for 10 minutes. I removed the jars and I put them on a wire rack on the table. It's always so tricky to get them out. It's even worse when it's very full, the uh, jar rack in the pan. And I have to let them completely cool before I do the test. And now I'm doing the finger jar lip test where I try to flip it up with my finger and it won't come up. I tried them all around. And this is what it looks like. Homemade cherry jam. My mom and I had a lot of fun making it. The equipment you'll need, the ball canning and preservation book, a one cup measuring cup, measuring spoons, four ounce and 16 ounce mason jars with lids, a canning tool set, a mixing bowl, a ladle, a spatula, a canning pot with jar rack, the ingredients you'll need, six cups of fresh or frozen cherries, 
six tablespoons of pectin, four cups of sugar. My next video, popovers. I post videos every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays on lifestyle, skincare, sewing, gardening, and baking. Please like, subscribe, and comment. I would love to hear from you. If you've made anything that I have put up in a video, I really want to hear. I want to thank you all for watching, and I hope you come back soon. Thank you all for your time.